okay you guys welcome back to my channel i promise you more tutorials this is a quick weave tutorial and you guys with doing any kind of weave foundation is everything so for my quick weaves i usually do the straight back braids you can do it in a circle if you like but i i prefer straight backs when i'm doing mine so the braids don't have to be too small but don't make them too big because the smaller you make them the more flat they will be and um so i'm braiding up her entire head just straight back and so you guys if there's any other tutorials that you'd like to see please make sure that you drop it in the comment down below and so you guys you may feel like you've seen this video before and you have but not in this tutorial form so this is a complete tutorial so you're going to make sure right here i'm putting a stocking cap on here make sure you watch this through the entirety so that you can see how this is done now you guys you can use a black stocking cap or you can use this flesh colored brown stocking cap so now i'm just spraying some pump it up spray on there all that is doing all i'm doing now you guys is prep work so prep work is very important prep work which i mentioned in my feed in braid tutorial prep work is everything so what i'm doing now is i'm adding another layer of protection by spraying this on this is pump it up spray so I already have, I braided her hair up in cornrows straight back. And then I put some black paper strips underneath on top of the cornrows. And then I put this stocking cap on. So she has two layers of protection. And then when I spray the pump it up on, that's adding another layer of protection so three layers of protection now i'm putting a glue protector on so i put this is what this is it's in a liquid form it almost looks like the black gel but it's not it's just something that's made for um quick weaves for gluing quick weave a quick weave is just a weave that's glued on to your hair it's glued on to all this these layers of protection that i just mentioned to you guys so what this product what i find that it does and you want to saturate the entire cap and put it all the way over her entire head or over your entire head this is the product that i use it's found in any in your local beauty supplies and any of your local beauty supplies i'm not sure if sally's had it or if they have it rather so i'm moving pretty fast through this so now you guys i'm starting to lay in and glue in my tracks so all of that foundation like i said foundation is everything when you're doing glue ins you want to protect your hair and the way you do that was all those layers of protection that I mentioned. You corn roll the hair up. You can put paper strips on if you want to. You don't have to. Then you can put your uh, stocking cap on. You can spray that pump it up on there. And then that layer, that last layer of protection, which was the glue protector. So you're going to place one track at a time. You're going to measure it. So when you see me placing it on with no glue, that's just me measuring how far I need to go. And then I'm going to cut the track. See, I'm measuring right here. And then you just cut the track. You place the glue on it. And then you glue it on. You, pray, you spray some pump it up on there and you blow dry. So here we go. Measure, cut, glue, place the track and blow it, blow dry it down. That's the order you do it in. You measure, cut, glue, place the track on there and you blow dry it. And when, I, when you see me spraying this pump it up on the track right here, this is how the pump it up looks. And like I said, you can buy this also in your local beauty supply. 
I don't know what all Sally's have, so I don't want to tell you to go to Sally's. Nothing against Sally's, but I don't know if they have it or not. I know they do have it in your local beauty supply, so that's why I keep mentioning that. So here I am again. I'm measuring it again. And this is the glue that I like to use, like it's called 30 second glue. This is what it looks like. Again, you can buy this in your local beauty supply. Now I feel like quick weave, glue on weave, quick wig, whatever you prefer to call it. I feel like they're safe for the hair. It's just that if you wear them all the time, if you wear them a lot, then you may start to cause damage to your hair. And um, so again, I'm measuring, I'm cutting, and I'm gluing. That's the steps you're following. So, um, and then when you guys, um, they're very, very easy to take off if you follow this routine, if you follow this step-by-step -step guide that I'm giving you here, if you follow this tutorial because when you get ready to take it off when you get ready to remove it once you wet the hair with warm as hot as you can get the water not super hot but as hot as you can take it the quick weave is going to come out just like you taking a wig off it's going to come right off your head like a cap almost like you had on a baseball cap and you take it off that's if you follow this routine right here. If you follow this step-by-step -step tutorial, your client's hair or your hair, should um, this quick weave should come off very easily. I have not had, you know, a client get a quick weave and then I had a hard time taking it off. Never. So if you follow this step-by-step -step instructions, you should be fine. Now I do have another video on here of her with this. But I turned this video into a tutorial. Again, as I mentioned, I'm trying to put more tutorials. I know that nobody wants to come to a hairstylist YouTube channel. You, you're going to feel like and you're going to assume that you're going to see tutorials. So I'm trying to get back on track with putting my tutorials on here. Not that I'm trying to lose any customers or not that I'm trying to educate non-stylists but i'm putting tutorials so you want to stop about right there and again i'm showing you because you're probably wondering okay how far up do i go so now i'm doing it from the front so i have slowed it down so once i get up to that spot where you saw me stop then i start going i turn i'm this is the front of her I'm facing the front of her and I'm gluing the tracks in. I'm standing behind her. I'm standing behind her now. So I'm placing my tracks in kind of like a U. Like a U section. Some, some of us hairstylists call it like a horseshoe. But just a U shape. So this is the front. I know you can't tell if this is the front or the back of her because you can't see her face. That's why I'm letting you know that I'm standing behind her. So again, that pump it up. I'm putting that on. That's making a barrier of protection. It also is helping to hold the track down. So again, I'm standing behind her. So when you get up to the front and you start doing like trying to close it off what we call closing it off everything needs to go like in a u shape because at the end of the day when i get ready to close it off at the top with a closure everything needs to be able to be placed in a circle so now i'm doing u tracks shape in a u or a horseshoe so I'm placing them in there. You see I have the video pretty slow so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And again, I'm standing behind her. You can see her talking now. So this is just some inexpensive, affordable hair. I can't even remember what brand. It might have been Milky Way. And it's an ombre. 
so now I'm starting to glue tracks from behind her meaning I'm placing the tracks in the back instead of in the front still keeping that U you have to keep that U pattern and the reason why again is because when I completely finish gluing those tracks and I get ready to start closing off making it in a circle it got to be able to go in a circle so if you gluing straight across if you placing a track straight across the circle is not going to come out correctly the closure will not close up correctly so you have to do like a u section so that you make an almost like a semi-circle so that's what i'm doing so you're gonna glue I'm placing some in the back, some in the front, as you can see, but I'm still standing behind her. I know it's hard to tell which way I'm, because you can't see her face. That's why I keep reminding you that I'm standing behind her. So I'm still doing my U horseshoe shape track placements, because again, when I finish, I want to be able to make a circle. So that's why you're doing it in a U instead of straight across. So you want to blow dry to make sure that track is down. Also, you guys, you want to make sure everything is laying flat. So you see it's laying very flat. So you see I'm still continuing on with my U. I'm placing some tracks in the front of her face and then some in the back because my closure i want the closure to be at the top of her head so now i'm starting with my closure so i'm taking the track i'm folding it over i'm putting this glue on it the weaving glue and when you're using a lighter color because it's ombre i'm fine but suppose the track was all blonde then i would not want that black glue to be on the blonde so i will make sure that i'm more cautious about the glue so now you guys i'm just gluing in a circle i'm putting a little bit of glue on the track maybe like inch and a half down and then i'm going in a circle and that was the reason to place the U or horseshoe shaped tracks so that when you get to the top of the head and you're closing it off, you want to be able to go in a circle. Trust me, it makes a difference. If I was placing her tracks straight across when I got up here to the closure and start trying to do a circle it would not close up right so that's the purpose for the u-shaped sectionings so now i'm continuing then when i get to where I, I know i'm about to close it up and i don't need any more hair i just cut the track and then i continue to close it up that's what i'm doing and so you want to take your time when you get to the closure because you guys, you don't want to be completely finished and then you've done such a great job and then you get to the closure and it's a hump. So this is the finished look. What I did is I molded her and um, I put her under the dryer and let her, I let her dry and then I did the cut and this is the finished look. I did like a wide square bang and a bob. I hope you like it.